And Rockport police say they have finally captured a Corpus Christi woman who they've charged for preying on her elderly patients. And in that process, ripping them off for tens of thousands of dollars. Our Michael Gibson has the details in this exclusive story you'll see here only on 3 News. Rockport investigators want you to take a good long hard look at the woman in this video that they finally arrested. Her name is Aretha Davis. She works as a caregiver and she's accused of ripping off elderly people across the area to the tune of tens of thousands of dollars. Back in, in uh, August of 2022, Rockport PD began getting some police reports of some family members who are having um, these family members who are being cared for, they're having some suspicious uh, debit card, credit card charges coming out. Um, a couple of times we had some checks that were changed and forged, and, and a couple of these checks were changed and formed, uh, changed into the name Aretha Davis. Rockport police finally caught up to Davis at the home of one of the elderly people she serves as a caregiver for in Rockport. Authorities say they'd been looking for her since August the 30th when they had her BMW surrounded. But they say she wouldn't surrender and drove off instead. She then led police on a pursuit that they say they eventually had to call off for public safety. Davis is now in the Ranzas County Jail on a number of enhanced felony charges because they all involve victims over the age of 65. Those range from forgery to credit card abuse. Even Nueces County had warrants out for the arrest of Davis. She had numerous warrants uh, from Nueces County, so she is being held on those warrants as well. One of Aretha Davis's supposed victims spoke with us, but she didn't want her name used or face shown. She told us that Davis had stolen at least $22,000 from her. Davis was supposed to be caring for the 85-year-old woman's daughter who was wheelchair-bound. We hired Aretha Davis to as a caretaker for her. She, my vibes with her were not good to begin with, and I'm sorry I didn't pay attention to the vibes, but we were desperate, so to speak, and she presented a very good resume to us. She was certainly big enough to help move and, and lift and whatever need be. Authorities say they're sure there are more victims out there. That's why they want everyone to take a good look at her photograph. And if you recognize her or her name, you're urged to call your local police or sheriff's department. Investigators believe you could be one of those people on a growing list of victims. Michael Gibson, 3 News.